Hello there, how are you doing? Joe here and welcome to what's actually going to be the last episode of Make It Happen Monday for a while. I need to take a short break from making these videos, but fear not, I will be back. Make It Happen Monday will be back in your inboxes on a Monday before you know it. However, in the meantime, you have 75 videos to choose from. If you get to a Monday and you miss my dulcet tones and you need that little dose of inspiration or a good old kick up the bum, then just come along to joebarnesonline.com, uh, look at Make It Happen Monday in the nav bar and you can go through 75 episodes and pick your message for that week. And then the key to all of this is to go and take action. That's what this video series has been all about from the start. Make it happen. The difference between those people who are out there and who are successful in whatever success means to them are the people that are taking action on a daily basis. We can all have the thoughts and the theories and the discussions and the ideas in the world, but the key to getting what you want out of life is taking action. Big tone good old big tone says make life something that happens for you not to you so if you take anything away from all of these videos please take that away go out there and take action in your life because action is the key in the meantime coming up right now are a whole host of clips some of my best bits from the last 18 months thank you so much for watching and engaging and being a part of this journey. And if at any time over the last 18 months, these videos have inspired you and you've gone out there and you've taken action and you've made changes in your life, then congratulations. I just love that and um, you know, good on you. <laughs> well done and thank you. Thank you so much for actually watching these videos and then taking action. So watch the clips coming up, but as always, of course, Live on purpose and make it happen. I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Welcome to the first ever episode of Make It Happen Monday, starring Joe Barnes. What is it that you're really willing to do or willing to sacrifice or willing to commit to to achieve everything you want to achieve? It's all exciting. So the first most important member of your team, I would say, needs to be somebody who understands and knows technical stuff. Don't live a limited life. Suspend your reality, start living your goals and dreams right now. It's so easy to get incredibly downhearted when you're constantly comparing your performance to the performance of other people who have perhaps been doing it longer um, or who maybe had more of a financial start in life or who maybe were just in the right place at the right time or who maybe have just worked their backsides off to get where they are today. Who knows a multitude of reasons. So no matter what you do every single day, do something that takes you and moves you towards your goals. Laugh in the face of fear and go out and do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's only me. <laughs> if you go and you did a, a survey of some of the richest people in the world, I can tell you right now, not all of them would be the cleverest people in the world. Yeah. Uh, but the fact is, is they have found a way to work, to, to surround themselves with experts, yeah? To, to be surrounded by people who know more about the business that they want to go into than they do. And they are simply the action takers. They're the drivers. They're the ones that move things forward. What is that thing or those things that you would just love to be doing every single day of your life. And if you can imagine those and start writing those down, then you are on your way to truly determining the direction of your life and business. The faster you start to outsource the, the little tasks that you don't need to be doing yourself, the faster your business will grow. So I've made loads of mistakes and I've messed around and I've done things wrong and I've changed my brand and I've been inconsistent and blah 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 but I'm still here. And look at this place. It is absolutely beautiful. Check out those. Can you see the sun coming down on the mountains in the background there? It is just gorgeous. What do you call a no idea? No no that's not the joke. What do you call a deer with no eyes? 
No idea. Oh my God. Draw out what you need to move you closer to your goals from all the noise around you. You don't have to justify yourself on social media. If somebody comes to you and attacks you on your page, on your blog, on your site, on your video, on your whatever, for attacking you's sake, for just being nasty and miserable and a horrible person, then bomb them off is what I say. You need to make sure that you create your very own customized thank you page. And in an ideal world, this needs to be very uniform with your brand. So for me, I like to create all of mine on my blog. We all have those self doubts going around in our head. We know we're gonna be judged, we know we are. We know that the minute we get out there into the public ether, that people are gonna start judging us. But you know what, it doesn't matter. People are gonna shoot you down in flames, whatever you do. I hate to, hate to be the bearer of bad news. <laughs> I might go and see somebody who's really super slim, yeah? And instead of thinking, great, I'm gonna get down the gym and I'm gonna you know, go for it because I wanna have a body like hers, I'll come home and think, oh well, I might as well eat that packet of cheesels. <laughs> if it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was really easy, we'd all be gazillionaires by now and we'd all be size 10s <laughs> and we'd all be dating Chris Hemsworth. If you want to do something that is extraordinary, yeah, if you want to be somebody and achieve things that are extraordinary, which is what you would do if you were an entrepreneur, then you need to do extraordinary things in order to make that happen. The more comfortable you are with how you're delivering your content, then the more content you're gonna deliver. Your ratio from learning to doing should be 80-20, even 90-10, to be honest with you. And what you need to be doing is putting into action everything you have learned. You need to become, in Murray Smith's words, a prolific content producer. I just love that, that saying and I've used it for years but you need to become somebody who is just an absolute master at not just publishing content, but promoting it as well, because it's content, valuable, useful, really good content that is gonna get you free traffic because people will share it. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? How can you add more value than anybody else is doing to your market. How much of a better question is that than how can I be the best? How much more empowering is that question? Sometimes people will look up and they will see success and they will think, oh my God, you know, there's this huge mountain I need to climb in order to get to this point. And I'm, you know, that's scary and I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing and my confidence levels aren't there and I'm inconsistent all over the place. I'm not sure what I'm doing. And the simple fact is, is that you are gonna start to take steps, yeah, to get there. Please don't wait because as you know, life is so short and we only get one shot. And I don't wanna come out with a whole load of cliches right now, but simply you've gotta grab life by the balls right now. You've only got one chance, don't waste it. Follow your dreams, they know the path.